Hi everybody, Cheaply Chic. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. Today I am getting ready to work in my Serenity Journal and I did a little bit of prepping this time since my last video and I thought I would share with you guys a little bit of what I've been doing. So in the last video, I did my first spread in my book and I plan on doing a spread today, but I wanted to show you guys. I had a previous video. If you missed it, the links will be down below. These were some game cards that came in the kit and I turned them into journaling cards. I've shared a process video on my channel before how I create these with some paints and everything. So I'll link that down below if you're curious. But one of the things that I wasn't exactly thrilled, I mean, I love them, I think they're beautiful, but I wanted more muter toned tags too. So before I went to bed last night, <laughs> I created three tags, very much like that first process video that I made where I did the flashcards. These are flashcards again, and I just used a napkin out of the collection. You can see the little butterfly punches back there. And this time I used a more not so vibrant pink and green, and I used some peach paint in the background. This was actually a napkin that I found at Hobby Lobby back when, you know, we could shop at Hobby Lobby. <laughs> I feel like I'm saying that all the time in my videos, but yeah, you guys get it. So yes, I have these three tags that I can use in my journal and I did just stitch around them also and add some paper to the back. So now I have all of these and I love the different sizes. I love these little journaling cards too. They're like pocket size cards and that's fun. The other thing that I did was create some envelopes. I wanted to use some of my vellum. I've had this particular vellum in my stash for probably, oh, I don't even know how to guess, over five years. It's something I got off eBay and it's just this great vellum and it has some lines in it and I have a few different colors and it's the soft green color. So. I just made an envelope out of this and I have some plans on how I want to use this and I also made one out of tracing paper so if you don't have vellum don't forget you can grab your tracing paper and if you have neither of those you can use some of the book pages that came in the collection because these are a lot of fun too and we got a lot of book pages this month so I'm going to use these in my journal and I just wanted to show you guys I'm really trying to focus on using things in my stash because I tend you know to not enjoy them we have them we have to use them right we should use them okay so today did I say I was making a process video because I no, I'm not <laughs> I'm actually going to try something a little different. I grabbed a bunch of scraps out of my little scrap basket that I have. And before I create another spread, I'm going to create some clusters. That's what this video is today, creating clusters. Because those of you who know me know that I struggle, once I want to create a spread, I struggle to make a cluster specific to a spot. I don't know why, I just do. So I thought maybe I'll try what everybody else seems to do on video and make their clusters first and then use their clusters in their journals. So I'm going to try that today. I'm not sure if I can use them that way or not. I just have to remember to make them different sizes, I guess. So yeah, like I said, I grabbed some scraps out of my scrap bin. Literally, these were some cutoffs from the cover. I mentioned having some avocado dyed laces and fabrics and things. And then I just have little scraps of lace. I picked out a scrap of burlap for that different texture I always love. I'm sure that's why my journals start bulking up, but that's okay, I like bulky journals. <laughs> I have this strip of curtain. I always love this texture. Um, let's see what else. I have this little pretty piece of lace. Another, this one's a piece of vintage lace and I love that little scrap. It needed ironed. I ironed all of this before I got on camera because that's the reason 
why I don't use it sometimes. I'm always like, oh, I don't want to plug in the iron. So anyway, more of that curtain. And then I always like having a base of linen. So I have this white linen and it's a strip. I ironed it. I have this that came in some happy mail tied around something and I think it's beautiful. The gold is beautiful. But I think because the pages are pink, I don't know, I can use white. That's too crisp and white for some people. I don't know, we'll see what happens. But I also have my cheesecloth and I just have it wadded up in here. I have some ink dyed cheesecloth and I actually want to take a minute and make some green cheesecloth. Maybe all of this since it's already cut apart. I have threads in everything, oh my goodness, everything. <laughs> So before we start making the clusters, let's use some bundled sage and make some dyed cheesecloth. Okay, I actually don't have a reinker for this one. I need to get one, to be honest. I use that a lot. So I'm going to get it wet. Maybe I should make it smaller, just because I know I'll use it in smaller portions anyway. It's going to be easier to work with with the ink pad. And this is just an old, piece of laminated paper from an old planner. I like saving all of this stuff to use for this kind of thing when I don't want to get out the big craft mat. So for those of you who don't know, all you do is get your cheesecloth wet or your fabric wet, whatever it is, your laces and trims if you want to dye those. I'm going to get messy today, which I really shouldn't. I have all of these <laughs> videos to film but this is water you know water proof so not waterproof this washes off with water so it's okay I'm just gonna put some down on the mat there just smear it around and this was already like coffee dyed cheesecloth so the coloring might be a little different I love doing this though. It's fun to have some colors created just for your project. So I decided to make this last little bit yellow. So I'm going to use the color mustard seed for that. And since I have so much ink left on my thing here. I'm just going to get it on this lace, I think. All right. Now that my hands look like I've been dying Easter eggs, <laughs> it's not that bad, but still, I really, really love this green. I hope the lighting is okay. I keep saying that. I should go back and watch. My new setup is great until the sun is shining through a side window I have here that I only have a valance on and I might need to get a curtain. 
This yellow is really vibrant, but it actually kind of matches <laughs> the green that I used in those first cards that I made. I don't know, we'll see. So I'm grabbing my book pages, but some of them that I have have some beautiful flower images, and I know that I really like using these for journaling cards. So I'm definitely saving that page. That's one I might use a little differently. I have both of my music papers. And these are a lot of fun. I'm gonna layer with those. I mentioned it before, I'm saving this one for some journaling cards again. That is, I think, a cutoff from this book page, so I can use that one. This is a really big page. That is so fun. I love that lettuce platter back there. But I think I might use this one for the text if I need more text. I shared my mint story. <laughs> this is a really pretty image though too. Yeah, there's just lots of book pages to use this time. All right, so what do I do, you guys? I am not a random <laughs> embellishment maker. I like things to have a purpose, so I struggle. I know that I will need little side clusters. I will take these, maybe some burlap. I do love using burlap. Oops, I don't think I wanted it that small. So how's everybody today? Hopefully you're doing well. I am filming this on Friday, Good Friday. And I know I talked about it in my last video, but it is such an odd Easter, isn't it? Everything is just so different this year. All right, let's see. There, I like that. So I'm using these embellishments, which I mentioned. I do love all these butterflies that came in the collection though too. They are lovely. way too big. I don't feel like I have a lot to talk about today. All of the very few things that have been happening in my life lately, I think I talked about them yesterday. <laughs> And not a lot is happening around here. All right, I think I'm going to call that one good. Try not to overthink it and save it for the sewing machine. The one thing I worry about this linen is that it's so wide. I think it might be too thin for me to tear again though. This linen was not the easiest to tear. 
like some of them can be. It just has a lot of design in it and I don't know. It might not be pure linen. Okay. I really like that giant treble clef there. So I think I want to keep that. I also really like using buttons. Love using buttons on there. Hmm. So I don't think I mentioned this in a previous video, but my craft room is um, overrun with ants coming into a window. Oh, it's so frustrating. So I got on Amazon and I ordered ant traps and they will be here. I ordered them a hmm, week and a half ago. They're supposed to be here in 10 more days. <sighs> Oh goodness. So if you happen to see an ant crawling by, please have grace for me because <laughs> it's just a non-essential item apparently. Let's see. I think I'm going to grab some of this bright pink. I know there was one in a previous video and I was like, seriously? <laughs> like, if it's not one thing, it's another. All right, just so I know that I'm on a path that I like, I'm going to take these over to the sewing machine and stitch them really quickly. Okay, I'm definitely liking those. First on this one, I left off the butterfly and the cheesecloth and I just did some stitching on those bottom layers and then I went on and just stitched down the center of the butterfly. And I did that with this one too. So yeah, I like those and let me make sure <laughs> that it's something I'm going to like in my journal. Yeah, that's cute. I like it. And I didn't have to overthink it, right? That's, that's my goal. <laughs> and even like on my envelopes where I know I'm going to use this as a flip, those are super cute. And I'm really into words and phrases right now, so it'll be fun to add that to. All right, let's make some more. Stab myself with the scissors. That's not helpful. Let's make a couple out of this, maybe, as the base. I think I'm going to use a little bit of this scrap of paper. okay if I make a couple like kind of similar right <laughs> takes a lot of the guesswork out for me all right maybe a little bit of dictionary page otherwise that scrapbook paper is going to compete for one of these die cuts I want to use so kind of funny that I would say that, right? My pages are always so busy anyway. <laughs> oh goodness. 
Maybe I should go through these and take out some of these giant pieces. I do like that one. Love the butterflies. These pieces, I just don't, I don't know. I struggle sometimes with the ones that are supposed to look like layered paper and things, but they're not real, <laughs> like with a staple in it. I don't know. To me, it's like, I don't know, I could make it. I don't know that I want a picture of it. Anybody else feel that way? Or is it just me? See, like, if I were going to use that, I would want to add a real staple. Now I get it. Some people, they don't want the chunkiness in their book. I know that's probably it. And see, I actually love a chunky book, so I'm weird that way, I guess. Ooh, I have these tickets, too. Let's see. Love this little piece of scrap. So pretty. Okay, I'm gonna use that one. And that goes with that. take these over to the machine. Okay, I love those. That makes it so easy. Why do I feel like I'm cheating? <laughs> like it's so easy. I must be cheating. Yes, I love those. All right, I want to have different options though. I need some clusters that would go the other direction, maybe square shaped like this little guy here. Yes, I think I want one of those tickets. I have this little scrap piece left over. Feel like it needs a little piece of cheesecloth under that ticket. That is too much. Believe it or not, just a little piece. Everything's sliding around on me. Okay, now the littlest little, yes. I think I want more color though. I like this blue one's pretty. He's little enough. I could still fit a word on there or something. Yes, I love that. That's cute. And that will be helpful when I'm making little, you know, when I just need a little tiny cluster. All right, one more set. One more set in this video. And then in the next video, we'll start putting some of this stuff together in the journal. How does that sound? Fun. Sounds fun to me. I think I want to make some more of these linen pieces. They are kind of my favorite thing. Maybe, let's see.
I make some more strips and then maybe a couple little square pieces. And again, I just want to thin it down a little. If you weren't someone who has a lot of fabrics and being as we can't go to the uh, thrift store right now, definitely something that I forgot to do for many years was look at my clothes, you know, and things that I wasn't wearing anymore, especially that my kids clothes, my clothes. And once I started looking at it as material and craft supplies, I had a lot of creative options. So don't forget, you know, look through your closet. I know that sounds kind of odd, but maybe there's things you aren't going to wear anymore that you like the fabric of or you like the embellishments on because so many clothes have great little embellishments and beads and stuff. Anyway, just a thought. I know some of you are miles ahead of me already, but just in case, there's somebody watching who hadn't had that thought before. I think I want to use this Easter page. I love the color. Oops, tearing it more than I want to. And of course I love the scripture on it. So I will like having that peeking out of my clusters. Okay. I don't want to waste too much of it. Sorry, I keep getting off camera. I'm so used to having my camera the other way and it's because I have it plugged in. So, oh, yes. That's a really pretty piece of watercolored purple. I really like this gold stuff. I think I will just need the smallest amount. It's very interesting stuff. <laughs> In fact, it starts to unravel when you cut it, so I don't know. Let's see. That's going to be hard to um, stitch stitch down. Maybe if I put some lace over it. All right, this one's complicated enough. I'm taking it to the machine right now. <laughs> All right, I really like that one. I feel like I'm starting to get this thing figured out and boy, is it easier to do it this way. I forgot to ink up my flower. Oh well, that's all right. I think I love that gold on there. Yeah, that's really pretty. I think this time I'm going to use some of this gold vine.
off camera again. Sorry. I need to make like a masking tape, a little washi tape square. Stay within the square. Yes. Ah, placement. It's everything. All right. I know I'm stitching this together. Okay, and I just used a skinny zigzag on those vines. I love to do that. It's one of my favorite, <laughs> one of my favorite elements. And then I just need a little... Ooh, today is the day. I like that, especially because it's on this resurrection piece of paper. Nobody knows that but me, but then again, it's my book. So <laughs> I'm the only one that needs to know. Maybe if I put it part way off, I like, because I can use it on, you know, certain side of my page. And I like that it has, was rolled away. Jesus of Nazareth. Today is the day. I like that. Okay. Yep. And I'm just going to stitch across here again. There. I like that. I know I'm saying that like every time, but I think I am quickly becoming addicted to doing it this way. I don't know why I never just took the time to try it before. Okay, where's my other square? I know I have two. My last two on camera, and then I might make a few again, but I will be back with a process video and share, you know, yeah. I wanna keep these two simpler because not everything can be super bulky as much as I love it. Maybe some lace. I don't know. I just like everything having cheesecloth. <laughs> Especially since it's this pretty green color. Maybe like that. All right, you guys. So that is how those two came out. I really like them. These are a lot of fun. I see so many pe people do it this way and then use them. And I thought, Lynette, maybe you need to try to, um, yeah, <laughs> do it how everybody else is doing it, right? There's a reason. Yes, it's much much simpler. I'm super excited. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. The design team links will be in the description box down below as well as a Facebook group. I would love to see, we would all love to see the process of your journaling and how, you know, the things that you're working on and creating during this season that we're in. And yeah, I think that's about it. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.